Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We are in statics and we are now in chapter 3. We're going to do the fundamental problem 3.1, okay? It says the quake has a weight of 550 pounds. Determine the force in each supporting cable, okay? So we have this crate that is supported by these two cables. So this cable that's labeled that like cable B and let's label this guy cable A. So we have this ring A, which it has the, these two cables and we have this crate that has a weight of 550 pounds, obviously going down. So the key of this problem so is usually to draw a free body diagram. So I'm gonna draw a free body diagram from point A. So let's say, this is my point A in my free body diagram. So I'll have a tension force that the cable C is doing. So that force, I'm gonna call it force C. Same for B. So I'll have a force going in that direction that the cable B is doing. And lastly, I have the weight, let's call it W for weight, that the crate is doing. So the summation of these three forces should be equal to zero in all directions, okay? So, um, let's not forget that this cable is represented by a 3, 4, 5 triangle and then the, the force B is represented by a 30 degrees with respect to the x-axis, okay? We also know that W is equal to 550. So in order to do this, we're going to to that the summatory of forces in the x direction is going to be so. Which forces are going in the x direction? My force C is going to the right and my force B is going to the left. So if we start with force C, I have four out of five. So I have four fifths of the force C going to the right, which is positive, minus the force B multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. And this addition should be equal all to zero. I have no more forces going to the x direction. Okay? So basically, if I clean this equation out, but I get that 4 over 5 of the force C should be equal to the force B multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. Okay, now, since we have two unknowns, we need two equations to solve it. So we're going to go and find the summatory of forces in the y direction. Now, in the one y direction, I have the force B going up, multiplied by the sine of the angle, plus the force C is also going up. So we got the... Well, how much of that force? It's going to be 3 out of 5. So, 3 fifths of force C going up minus W. And we know W is equal to 550. So, we get minus 550 to be equal all to 0. So, if I solve for 1 unknown in this case, let's solve for F of B, for example, we get the F of B. It's equal to 550 minus 3 over 5 F of C, all divided by sine of 30 degrees, okay? Why did I solve for one unknown? Because I want to plug this unknown into this equation. So, let's see. If I do that, I'm going to use the calculator to clean this guy a little bit. So we get, let's see, how can we clean this equation? We got 550 divided by the sine of 30. It's equal to 1,100. So FB, I'm just cleaning this equation, getting rid of this fraction. It's 1,100 minus, and then we got 3 divided by 5 divided by the sine of 30 we get minus 1.2 F of C, okay? Now, 
with this I'm gonna plug it back in here and then solve for the equation I'm actually going to use this one above so I'll have 4 over 5 f of c minus a thousand so f of b is in here so I'm gonna plug everything that is in into this equation so a thousand and hundred minus 1.2 f of c multiplied by the cosine of theta should be equal to zero okay now if we do this we get uh, let's simplify this we get 4 5 f of c 4 fifths of f of c minus a thousand a hundred plus because minus multiplied by minus 1.2 f of c i'm actually forgetting that i need to multiply these guys by cosine of theta so let's do that all done in one step so we're gonna get minus for the number so a thousand a hundred multiplied by the cosine of 30 is equal to 953 plus 1.2 multiplied by the cosine of 30 it's equal to one point uh, let's suppose it's a one point zero four f of c and all this should be equal to zero okay now let's add all my f of c's so f of c and f of c and we pass this guy to the other side so we get four divided by five which is zero point eight we add it to the one point zero four we get 1.84 of f of c is equal to 953 and then if we solve for f of c it should be equal to 953 divided by 1.84 so 953 divided by 184 and this is equal to 518 pounds okay so this is one of the forces that we're supposed to calculate. Here we go, we found the first one. And then for the last one, we can do it by, uh, in this equation. If we know f of c, then we, we plug the number in here and we're done. So this will be equal to 1,100 minus 1.2 multiplied by our answer, which is 518 pounds. And this is equal to, let's see what this is equal to. So 1.2 multiplied by my answer. And then we subtract that from 1,100 and it will give us 478 pounds. Okay, this is F of B and F of C. That was it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, please let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.